Haley out here from the American Digital Network studio. Hope everyone's having a great Friday and is ready for week two of the college football season. Before all the action gets underway tomorrow, we wanted to highlight a few American coaches and what better way to get the inside scoop than straight from the players themselves. Man, Coach Morris is a cool dude. He's just like, he's just, I think he got, he has so much swagger. You know, he, he recruited me in high school. Uh, and so I had a, had a good feeling of him, but you know, talking to somebody and being recruited and playing for him is a different thing. And just, you know, even the way he walks, like he has this little walk, or he, he kind of bounces when he walks. Yeah. He's, a, he's, a, he's just a cool dude. He has a lot of energy all the time. He always has a Red Bull in his hand at, all the time. And so he's just, he's a, he's a really cool dude. And, uh, and more than that, he's a, he's, a, he's a great man. You know, so I step, take him out of his coaching hat. And he's a great man and he sits there and he talks to us. And uh, just, just on a man-to-man -man level, he really wants to better us as people um, and as young men and as men going into the world, um, letting us know that the air in the football will be let out one day. And uh, I know that he's, he's instilled and deposited a lot of my life and a lot of my teammates' lives. And just knowing that uh, not only are we playing for a great football coach, but we're playing for a great man is, is something that's definitely good to know. You know, he brings a lot of energy. I think a lot of people know that by now. But, um, no, it's been really fun uh, really getting the guys together and uh, making a lot of progress over our offseason workouts. We learned he's a very intense guy. Uh, we learned that he's, he preaches just do your job. So uh, as long as you do your job, you'll be on good terms with him. But when you start venturing out doing your own thing, that's when he starts to uh, chew, chew, chew you out a little bit. So, uh, but no, but he, he's a good dude. He's a very uh, energetic coach, very fashionable. So I like him. Um, each and every day he has something to say to you. Um, I can say I've never walked past him and he has nothing, he has said not anything negative. It's always positive. It's always you can do this, you have this to work on. It's always something you can always get better at doing. Even if you're not playing, he still is watching tape. So he's watching people that's not even playing, you know, that's not even on that's on the sideline and things like that, working on their abilities just in case. Hey, somebody get hurt, somebody do this, you got somebody that come in just as good as that person. But if they're not, family always can work. So every time we see him, it's a positive thing. And he keep us rolling and keep everybody mentally focused and keep us rolling on. UConn head coach Bob Diaco picked up a win over Villanova in week one. The Huskies will take on Army this weekend. East Carolina head coach Ruffin McNeil led the Pirates to a victory over Towson in their home opener. The Purple and Gold will head to Gainesville for a rematch with the Gators Saturday night. And Houston head coach Tom Herman earned his first win as a head coach and a Cougar. They'll head to Louisville for what should be a good game against the Cardinals. SMU head coach Chad Morris showed serious strides of improvement in the Mustangs' first game of 2015, a tough loss to the fourth-ranked team in the country, Baylor, but an impressive first half by the Ponies. They'll stay at home in Dallas and take on North Texas Saturday evening. We'll have coverage of the weekend right here on the American Digital Network. Have a great weekend.